Hey guys, this is Madman Mars 2000 with your Tina Impact spoilers for Thursday, October 15th, 2009. Of course, guys, these are the spoilers here for the uh, special three hour edition of Impact. It's going to occur on the 15th of October. And uh, before I give those out, though, the um, when I did my uh, Tina Impact spoiler video there for uh, October 8th, I mentioned a match there where, uh, you know, Kurt Angle and Mick Foley, they fight Matt Morgan and Abyss in a tag team match, and for some odd reason, I wasn't able to give you the ending of that match, because the report just had everything going all over the place, and there was never, like, a winner announced or anything like that. Well, anyway, I found out why that is. Um, I guess they actually originally taped this match on a Monday night, on this past Monday night, and due to, like, a botched finish or something, or because the match was just complete garbage or something, they had to retape this match on a Tuesday night or something like that. It was some something along those lines, but... Anyway, um, so they retaped the match, I guess, and here's the end result. I finally got it for you guys. Um, it's actually Matt Morgan and Abyss who defeat Kurt Angle and Mick Foley when Matt Morgan hits the carbon footprint on Mick Foley, so that's the missing result there for that match. Um... So anyway, the October 15th edition of Impact starts with the main of all the main event Mafia members coming out. Uh, Kurt Angle gives all the Mafia members a pep talk and says that they need to win all their matches at Bound for Glory. AJ Styles, Beer Money, Matt Morgan, Hernandez, and Team 3D all come out to the ramp. Brother Ray says that he's that everyone is tired of the main event Mafia. He then hands the mic to AJ Styles and calls Bound for Glory a make-or-break show in terms of the Mafia's tenure in TNA. He, uh, he basically, uh, AJ says they are three days away from the main event Mafia ceasing to exist. Matt Morgan says he is not waiting three more days. He then runs down to the ring along with all the rest of the people that were on the ramp and a brawl ensues and eventually this is all broken up by TNA security. All three members of the Beautiful People, Velvet Sky, Lacey Von Erich, and Madison Rain, defeated ODB, Awesome Kong, and Tara. Uh, during the match, Awesome Kong and Tara get into a disagreement, and Kong storms off. Then ODB and Tara get into a disagreement, and Victoria, or, uh, like, Tara leaves, and ODB is left all by herself and is pinned by Velvet Sky. X Division Championship match. The Amazing Red, who actually has Don West with him in his corner, so I guess that's what they're doing with Don West now. They're going to have him manage uh, Amazing Red, I guess. That's what it looks like. Defeated, or, uh, versus Suicide went to a no con or This match went to a no contest with Amazing Red versus Suicide for the X title when the Pope D'Angelo De Niro gets involved. Hernandez defeated the British Invasion in a gauntlet match. Eric Young is on commentary for this match. Doug Williams comes out first and is the first man to get eliminated. Next man to get eliminated is Brutus Magnus and then Big Rob Terry. After the match, Eric Young and the British Invasion jump Hernandez and beat him down. Uh, Daniels defeated the Pope D'Angelo De Niro after hitting the Angels' wings on him. After the match, Suicide runs out and looks like he's going to go after the Pope D'Angelo De Niro, but instead goes after Daniels and hits a gringo killer on him. He then unmasked to reveal himself to be Homicide, but they're basically, I guess, saying that maybe, uh, like, maybe Homicide, I got a hold of Suicide's attire, that he's not actually Suicide, that he like, maybe beat him up backstage or something, got a hold of his attire or something, and put it on. That's what they're trying to make it look like happened. Um, anyway, there is a lounge chair in the ring. McFoley comes out with a bowl of popcorn and sits in it. He essentially called Abyss a good for a Mick Foley knockoff. He then airs some clips of Abyss. He shows Abyss with James Mitchell calling him an evil manager. Original show, he shows Abyss pouring tax in the Monsters Ball match at Bound for Glory 2006, mentioning how he did that in 1995. He then shows Abyss going through the flaming table at Bound for Glory 4, saying how he did that with Edge in what was considered the match of the year. Abyss comes out with a barbed wire bat and pushes Foley out of the chair and holds the bat against him. They then air a video that seems to be taking place backstage of what seems to be Lorne, who has her back to the camera, and she's held hostage by Dr. Stevie, who's holding her. 
McFoley then tells Abyss to go to the back and find her, and Abyss runs to the back. This turns out to be a trap, however, as it turns out that it, it's actually not Lorne that Dr. Stevie's holding, it's actually Daphne who is disguised as Lorne. This is so they could lure Abyss to the back and beat him down, which uh, both Dr. Stevie, or Dr. Stevie then jumps and beats down Abyss backstage after the discovery is made. Hamada defeated Alyssa Flash in a Falls Count Anywhere match, and AJ Styles vs. Kurt Angle ended in a draw when the time limit expired. The finish of this match saw AJ Styles locked in Kurt Angle's ankle lock, however he refused to tap out and the time limit eventually expires before uh, Kurt Angle could win the match and that's how it ends. Anyway guys, those were your Tina Impact spoilers for Thursday, October 15th, 2009. I'm Mad Myanmar's 2000.